you know, once again, it can't handle both of them. So, I'm just waiting on a different charge controller. This one's a pain in the butt. You need to push it multiple times. And, um, so it, it thinks if it's getting 12.5 and it'll read up to 15. So let me show you guys something here. So this says 500 watts on the box. Okay. And in their literature online it says 30 amps. Okay. But I'm going to pull the manual out here in a second. And I'll show you where it says uh, like 350. Okay. Here's the manual. It tells you gives you wire suggestions uh, for the amount of length and right here it says maximum input wattage 360 watts for 12 volt panel maximum input voltage 50 volts maximum input amps 30 amps and rated output 12 volts dc overcharge voltage 14.5 uh, um, i know that this thing doesn't work right this is the second one i've tried and uh, they cannot handle two hundred watt panels from the same company. So um, I wouldn't waste your eighty dollars on this thing. I bought it because it was in the store. So um, this thing here, yeah, it works. But um, what happens is when you hook the two panels, the alarm goes off, and um, and eventually it does feel like it starts to get warm on the heat sink. So. Um, this is not a good charge controller for more than one 100 watt panel. Um, even the ratings that are inside the manual that say 350 watts or whatever uh, still uh, can't handle two 100 watt panels. And there's no way that these panels are putting out 15 amps a piece. So they should be about 5 amps. So you really only need a 20 watt controller. And this thing is obviously overrated because it can't handle it it's able to uh do the one panel but that's it so anyway so i decided to do a quick review on this and tell you that it is not what they say it is um maybe harbor freight did to watch this video and um you know, tell the company that's making these things for them that hey you're giving me a charge controller that's not what it says it is so anyway thanks for watching guys